portion of the video was sponsored by Javianas. I am so excited to be working with them. I've been wearing Javianas ever since I was a kid growing up in Florida. I love their shoes so much and I'm so excited to talk to you guys more about them. Also, please excuse my voice. I have this problem where I go to events, I feel like I have to overcompensate, so I just keep talking and talking, talking over music, and then I wake up the next morning and my voice is gone, so apologies in advance. I am drinking tea. So I'm headed on a trip this weekend with my boyfriend and I am so excited. The weather is so beautiful and warm and amazing. I have a fresh pedicure. I am ready to wear all of my Avianas and I have a lot because I'm obsessed. It's just a little quick weekend trip so I'll be <laughs> packing with you guys in this video and prepping. I'm getting my nails done today, just doing all kinds of stuff and I thought I'd take you guys along in a day in my life in New York City. I know you guys like these videos a lot. I'm trying to decide which pairs of Javianas that I want to bring with me on my trip because I have three pairs here and I'm doing a carry-on bag. So a part of me is just kind of like I want to bring them all because they're so easy to pack. They're so lightweight. They're durable. They're packable. I mean, they're amazing. <laughs> Javiana shoes are high quality rubber, not plastic, which I think is super important to note. They're comfortable, they're durable, they're lightweight, and they don't like deform, which I think is really awesome when they get wet, they're waterproof. I love these, these are just some sleek black ones right here. They go with literally everything. And then these I can't stop wearing. I wore them so much when I went to Palm Springs, by the pool, running errands, you name it. They're just, you just can't go wrong and they're so tiny and packable and cute. Also look at these sandals. They are so, so cute. They add just a sense of style to any outfit. These sandals are so beautiful. I wear a lot of gold, so I love the gold trim on either side. They're super comfortable, just like my traditional Javianas that I've always had, so I love these too. They also have this trademarked rice pattern sole, which I think is awesome. So, like I said, I'm packing right now, and I think I'm actually bringing a carry-on. Who is she? And with carry-on bags, you have to kind of sacrifice a lot of things because you can't bring everything. But with my Avianas, I honestly think I'm just gonna bring them all because they're such an essential for me, especially in the spring and summer, really all year round. They're just so comfortable and easy. Especially when I'm flying somewhere, I don't know, I like to wear closed-toed shoes and I'm wearing like socks and sneakers the whole nine yards. As soon as I land, I'm like in a warm place, I wanna take my shoes and socks off immediately. So I'll usually bring a pair of Javianas in my tote bag so that I can change right away so my feet can breathe. I know that sounds weird, but it's true. And it's nice because I just feel like so much better and they're so light and I can just put them in my tote bag. It's not taking up too much space and then all the rest of them are in my suitcase, no problem. Especially with these, you can definitely transition these from day to night, especially from like beach to dinner. The best pipeline, like when you're on vacation and you're at the beach, you're tanning all day, and then you go inside, you take that shower, the shower, the best shower ever, you put on your lotion, you're feeling great. You can literally put these on again with a beautiful sundress and you're headed off to dinner, which I think is amazing. Whenever I'm packing my Javianas, I know it's gonna be like a good vacation, a good time because these are included. If you guys wanna check out Javianas for yourself, which I suggest you do, I am obsessed with them, I wear them all the time around my apartment around the house walking outside hot girl walks like whatever feels best for you for vacation you name it discover all their cool new flat sandals at javianas.com that portion of the video was sponsored by javianas and now we're gonna keep on packing and get on with the rest of our day all right so today is a day of self-care a day of packing a day of just being around the apartment and running some errands and seeing some friends. So it's a day of a lot of things and I'm really happy to take you guys along. We have a nail appointment in about an hour and I can't lie, I am very, <laughs> very excited because two of my, my nails broke. I think I'm just gonna do like a bright pink. You know, summer fun, let's go, going on vacay. So that's in an hour, but until then, I think I want to do a face mask because that's just what I do best, right? I've always wanted to try that thing where you wear an eye mask under a face mask. Like I see people do it, like a under eye patches and then you put face mask over. Does that make sense? Yes, that does make sense, Danielle. You're just making it complicated. So we're gonna try it out. I've never done this before, but I've seen girlies online do it and I want to be that girly. Because sometimes when I put on sheet face masks, I feel like it doesn't actually hit under my eye where I want it to. I don't know if that's just me. Is it just me? So we're going to do this now. Eh. So far, so good. All right. Phase one complete. Now we are applying phase two. 
This is kind of a vibe, just the bottom half and then the eye masks. But we won't, we'll do the full thing. I told you guys I would. This is so fun and colorful. <laughs> Again, not revolutionary, I'm just having fun. All right, this is where it gets fun. Spicy. I was worried the eye patches would move, but they have not. Ah, this feels very successful. This feels very right. I'd like to thank you all for being a part of this journey. I'm so dramatic right now. Anyways, um, what am I gonna do while this face mask happens? Let me tell you. I actually am done with tulips. I don't, like I just don't know what to do anymore. I've done everything everyone told me to. I've poked the stems, I've put a penny in there, I put ice in there, and they still fall, but they're just the prettiest of flowers. So I don't know. Maybe I just need to like cut them shorter and make them tighter because I also have this face that my mom helped me with and we cut it a little shorter and this I guess kind of helps them all stay in and they're not falling as much. So this is the continuousness of my tulip saga that I thought I'd tell you guys about. But since I'm about to travel, probably not yet because I'm still here all day, but tonight before I go to bed, I think I'm going to probably throw away these flowers, which is really sad, but you know, I they'll be like, drooped by the time I'm back. You're just drooping under my flowers right now. Um, I'm doing my planner for the day, of course. Today's quote, going with the idea that nothing can stop me. I love that. All right, so I've got a work and a side hustle list on this, as you guys know. Work is YouTube, social media, side hustles, just random stuff I need to get done. So I always take things from the day before that I didn't finish and I put it down. So I've just got some emails that I need to send out, some thank yous for events I went to, accounting things, which is always fun. I need to make a reservation at a restaurant, obviously, in Tampa for when me and my friends, my friends from college are coming to visit me in Tampa while I'm there, which is gonna be so much fun. And I wanna take them out to Tampa one night for dinner and I need to figure out where and it's a big party so I feel like I need to make a reservation. So yeah, that's what's happening right now. All right, it is time to get our nails done. My voice, oh my God. <laughs> We're gonna do some bright pink, bubble pink, neon pink nails. I don't really know what yet, but I want obnoxious pink. Here is the fit, even though I probably don't even need this blazer because it is 70 degrees outside, but sometimes it's cold in the nail salon. She said she's gonna bring her dogs today for me. And if that's true, I'm going to cry. She has these two little doodles, like mini poodles, or do no, I think they're mini poodles, two of them. And if they are there, it's going to be the best day ever, and I really hope it's true. Um, I'm just wearing some sneaks for now. Um, yeah, let's go. Back from nails, I am obsessed. I just did this bright, bright bubblegum pink, or not even bubblegum, like neon. I'm just, I'm I, like, every time I look down at my hand, I'm happy. So we love that. I just went to the grocery store and grabbed a couple ingredients to make a salad, which I've done like a caprese salad before, but I saw on Instagram, this girl added um, chickpeas, which I think just adds a little bit more something, something to it, a little bit more filling, which I'm always looking for for salads. So I'm doing arugula base, chickpeas, mozzarella, tomatoes, I have to cut those in half and then um, Italian dressing on top. And I think it's gonna be really, really good. Oh, and I got a baguette, a mini baguette, because you gotta have a little bread with salad, right? Just like fries and salad. With a caprese, you gotta do a little, a little zhuzh, you know? but I'm going to. This looks fire. Updates to come on if it's good. Ah, ah. So food was amazing. I just put it all away. It was, oh my God, so good. I'm probably gonna have that again later if I get hungry again. This mini vacuum I got has changed my life. I got some crumbs on the ground while I was um, cutting the bread and I was like, heh, mini vacuum, baby. I'm like, this is amazing. Wow.
currently doing my weekly game of Mancala where I refill my little supplements box here because I'm about to travel to, so I want to make sure I have it all with me. Every dang week, this just satisfies me. Like, we're all set now. Woo! Sometimes it's hard to shut, but I just make it happen. You know, it just happens. <laughs> All right, we are about, oh, it's so sunny and pretty outside. About to walk over and get a wax. A once a month of Brazilian. It never is like the most exciting thing, but afterwards I just feel so confident and good. And especially since I'm gonna be in a swimsuit, you know, you just wanna feel good. And that's what it is for me. And I also just canceled on drinks with some friends. I was supposed to go with Kelly, Shannon, and Cass, and I literally just can't. Like, my voice is so dead. I feel 100% fine, but my voice is so gone, and I just don't want to lose it anymore. And I know that where they want to go is, like, blasting music and, like, trying to talk over the music, literally what I did last night. I just don't see being good for my voice, so I feel like I'm gonna go on vocal rest tonight, even though I'm gonna be vlogging all day, but you get the you get the idea. Anyways, I've changed again because that's what I do, <laughs> and I'm just gonna go get the wax, and I'll see you guys when I'm back. So I'm packing right now, and I love these jeans. I'm really into like super baggy jeans. I just recently got them. <sighs> And they're really long, like really long. And I'm sometimes really lazy when it comes to getting things hemmed, tailored, whatever. So with jeans, I typically just like cut it. So I'm like cuffing up to what part I would want it cut. And then I take, I have fabric scissors and then I just cut. But aren't these so cute? I love how they're like actually cinched at the waist, but then they like stay flowy or like more baggy, if you will, around my thighs. Um, I like these a lot. Some people might not, but I'm into them. Okay, we're gonna cut them. I've got the jeans. I don't do this very glamorously at all. These are my fabric scissors. I've had these for years. They're amazing. I literally am just gonna like cut above the seam like this because this is where I cut. It'll give it some frayed edges, you know? We just, you know what though? The only thing about this, it's not gonna be even, so we're not gonna do that. I'm just gonna put my finger on where it was. Okay, so like two inches off, I guess. And then I have to line it up with the other one because they need to be the same. This is why you should get things hemmed or tailored or whatever, but I just need instant gratification. So, I'm gonna line them up. So I always like to start, you know, shorter rather than, or like I always like to start off by cutting less than more. You can always cut more, but you can't add on. So we're just gonna start with what I thought maybe. And these fabric scissors cut amazing through both pant legs. Cause otherwise I wouldn't be able to do it evenly. And this isn't perfect. It's definitely not perfect. But as Hannah Montana says, nobody's perfect. Um, and then what I'll do is uh, take the edges of my scissors like this and go against the denim and it creates like a nice little fray here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but just so it looks more natural and less like, wow, she cut it, you know? Like, oh wow, she bought these at the store and they were distressed at the ends. That's my little tutorial you guys didn't need, but I wanted to do it. It's really good vibes in my apartment right now. The sun is setting and I'm just laying out my clothes. I'm gonna be with my boyfriend's family this weekend. So <laughs> keep that in mind. You know, like when you're getting dressed and stuff, it's like, all right, I want to, you know, I don't know, you get it. So I think we're gonna be like playing tennis, question mark walking, hiking, um, in swimsuits potentially, just kind of like outdoor more stuff. I don't I don't even know if we'll be eating out, probably just like be eating in, I'm not really sure. So um, I brought like this one outfit, like some flare jeans and a little blouse, you know. I brought a pair of PJs because I'm staying at someone else's house. I don't wanna just like wear a t-shirt. And then I just have like a white 
shirt, a blue button down and jeans for like a casual daytime look. It's giving Chessie from Parent Trap vibes and I'm so here for it. Um, and then I've just got a ton of just different, like I'm not gonna wear all this, we, all, we already know that. But it's all just like little clothing that I can pack really easily. So I'm bringing like two different workout tank tops that are like longer, not super cropped. This little tennis set, it's like a skirt and a matching top. Um, like an exercise dress, some green like track pants, flare leggings, and just regular pair of black leggings. So that's that. And then tomorrow on the plane I'll wear, I don't know, I was going to say sweatsuit, but it's like not that hot anymore. So updates to come there. But yeah, we're going to put all this in there and then see how much room I have for shoes and toiletries. So I found this online, which is like a little organizer thing for like your tech stuff or whatever you want for your travel bags, for your travel tote bags. So I got this for the airplane, which I think is amazing. So on this side, I have like my vitamins, electrolyte powder. I bring hot tea bags with me, stuff like that, like the wellness side. And then on this side, I'm gonna put like chargers and my like exporter stuff like random adapters and everything in here. So they're not just like roaming around my tote bag. Brooke had one actually and I was like I need this like she put her vlog camera in here my camera will not fit in here But still it's so genius. Oh, wait, no, not Brooke Margo Margo Lee has it my bad Anyone want to guess what outfit change number this is today because I don't even want to know um, The weather keeps changing Ryan's calling me. Hello hey, Hello, I'm also looking up ramen places uh, I don't know it's closed Okay, well, let's just meet outside and uh, walk somewhere. Um, so, yeah, Ryan and I are going to get dinner. We haven't had quality one-on-one -on -one time in about a week because my friend Delaney was staying here and then my mom was staying here. She left this morning, so I'm very excited to see him and hang out with him. Obviously, we're traveling together this weekend, but it'll be nice. I totally have the groceries that I got earlier. I was going to make another salad, but he was like, I've been working all day and I really just want to like, go get ramen and... I just didn't have the heart in me to say no. So, this is my little ramen outfit. Let's go. Hi. Okay, it's a lot later. Um, I just took a shower, washed my hair for the weekend. If I'm ever just doing like a weekend trip, I always like to wash my hair here if I can and make it last throughout the weekend because, I don't know, it's just easier. All my little travel hacks, not even hacks. I pray to the gods that when I wake up tomorrow, my voice doesn't sound this bad because I'm meeting some of his family for the first time and they're gonna be like, what is happening? I think Ryan's about to come over and sleep over here because we have to wake up at four in the morning. Cause our flight's at six in the morning. So yeah, we always, if I'm flying with Ryan, we always do early flights so that we can land by the time that he is up and can um, work, like so he doesn't miss any meetings. So we also have so many shows that we want to watch, but we've been both so busy <laughs> that we have barely made it through. And there's so much. So I'm like, it's almost midnight. We should totally go to bed. But I'm like, oh, I just want to watch one episode. But maybe we'll watch some stuff this weekend. Not sure. But I'm gonna make some hot tea and finish up packing, blow dry my hair so I don't go to bed with wet hair. I love you guys so much. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you very soon for my next video. Bye.